the long way. We knew we'd get there someday. They said, I bet they'll never make it, but just look at us holding on. Still together, we'll make it breakfast, y'all. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Thank you. And let me be a little teddy bear with a chain up around my neck. Leave me anywhere, oh, let me be. Oh, let him be your teddy bear. I don't want to be no tiger, cause a tiger plays too rough. Uh, and I don't want to be your lion, because a lion ain't the kind you can love enough. I just want to be ooh, your teddy bear with a chain up around my neck. Lead me anywhere, oh, let me be. Oh, let him be. Teddy Bear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Elvis, yeah. Elvis is in the building. Elvis has left the building. Oh, I got to show you something too, my brother. Uh, they let me uh, sing the national anthem yep. for the Madison Mallards baseball game. Yep. So I want to show you this on my cell phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Magic Mike. Yeah, Magic Mike. They let me sing at a baseball game and all kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. How long you how long you been singing, Mike? Oh well I've been singing for uh for I've been singing like since I was a little boy. What About do you like to sing? Nine or ten years old. Nine I or ten. I love to sing. Why you like to sing? Well see, real reason why I like to sing cause I get out of when I come home from school, yep. I would see my daddy sitting on the front porch uh -huh. and he have all his friends gathered around him. And he would be singing something all the time. So I said, my dad is my superhero. I oh, think yeah. I want to be like him. My mama said, your dad ain't no superhero. I said, he always jolly and he always singing and stuff. So I want to be like him. So I learned how to sing right off of my daddy. Mm, amen. You yeah. got a voice. <laughs> Why do you like to sing for your uh, audience here? Well, see, cause uh, the reason that I like to sing for all the personas and stuff in here yep. is because you never know where they might come from. Mm. Bye, y'all. Au revoir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you never know where they might come from. Mm. And you never know how they feel inside their heart. If someone is sad or something or down, I come out and sing a song and I see their face start smiling. Everything is much better. So that's just how I am in the morning. You made the best morning for me ever. You thank made you this, this breakfast taste infinitely better. Well, thank you And you very put much. such a huge smile on my face. I thank feel like there needs to be much. more mics in the world. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Any, and any, I'm trying to yeah. make everybody just like me every morning. So any advice you'd give to people who love to sing, but they might feel shy or insecure about their voice? Well, 
don't be afraid. We all like, uh, it's going to be something crazy coming out. We just, uh, we all just like the birds wake up and sing because it's another wonderful day and we're here to see. Amen, man. Yeah. Amen on that. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> another wonderful day and we're here to see it. So yep. just wake up like the birds and appreciate stuff. Yeah. And next thing you know, the music comes right out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, so you back for the World Dairy Expo too? Oh, There's a World Dairy Expo? Yeah, there are a bunch of cows and stuff. People come from all over the world to show off their cows and all their equipment and everything. Oh, that's why there's so many people here. Yeah, that's why there's so many people oh, here. Oh, we're just, we're just passing through. We're flying out to uh, New York today. Oh, okay. Well, God bless you yep. and have a safe trip out to New York. Yeah, you, you're you the only person I know who did a perfect Miles Davis and Elvis Presley in the yeah. same show. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mike, why are you so happy? Well, the reason I'm so happy because I'm living the American dream. I got a wife, we've been married 25 years. We got us a house, a car, and a job, and we got grandchildren and big grown mouthy children. We got dogs and birds and stuff. So life is beautiful. I'm living the American dream. I ain't rich, but I'm rich in spirit. Yep. Yeah. What would you say to people <laughs> and who? That's what really counts, right there. What would you say to people who are rich in money but poor in spirit, or people who are sad? What well, advice what would you I give can them? tell you, if they got a lot of money, money don't bring happiness. What bring happiness is togetherness. So if you got it and your little man don't got it, bring something down and help him out, and I guarantee you that make your heart feel much better. Mm. Yeah. And what you say, what uh, what your daddy teach you? My daddy taught me that God got the biggest and the best family, and it's all kind of folks in his family, and you don't know who everybody is, so you got to be kind to everybody you meet. And your wife said that Mike never woke up? Never wake up angry or mad about nothing in 25 years. Say, I don't know what kind of guy he is, but I'm glad I got married to him. Man, yeah. <laughs> if you open up a church, I go every Sunday. Yeah. Or maybe I should just stay at this Howard Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So maybe you should just stay right here. You will see me every morning. <laughs> and have yeah. some of that good bomb breakfast. <laughs> yeah, with that big old nice spread they got. Oh, going that's on what I'm morning. saying. <laughs> that's right. <laughs>